Drugs, yes. Yes. Drugs. <laughs> drugs. Drugs. I need the drugs. I need the drugs. I need... thirst for put that back up or anyway today's video is a review it's a review on Toki Den for the PS Vita now one thing I want to do is I want to make this as fast as possible because I know people out there in internet land have a lot more to do with their lives like play their PS Vitas because there's nothing on it right now except for Toki Den first of all I want to get into how the game looks when the game opens up, the first thing you see is this big ass fucking, this big ass ogre looking monster thing that just comes down and wants to eat your face for some reason. I don't know why it just wants to eat your face. But the presentation for when the game opens is just amazing. If you sit down with some headphones and you listen in on what's happening with the Japanese voice acting and the sound effects and the music, you'll get a good sense of this is a troublesome time. <laughs> this is a troublesome time period and I need to do something about it. It's just a really good overall experience for a handheld game. This game does a good job of pulling my interest into it. For one, with the story. For two, with the setting. I love Feudal Japan. For three, I do not mind demons and such like that. Uh, you know, I really don't mind those type of monsters. And uh, another thing with the premise of putting a soul in a weapon. Now what I mean by that is you have, I don't want to try to pronounce the names and stuff like that, but when you get further in the game, you can level up your weapons and you can level up your armor and such like that, like traditional RPGs. But these ogres, they take the souls of great warriors from the past and what happens is when you kill a certain demon, you can take the soul that they ate and you can attach it to a weapon which gives you special abilities which would be like down in the down right corner. So that kind of intrigued me with that, that aspect of the game, how you can attach souls that will talk to you. They actually talk to you and like I said, they give you different abilities. So it's actually a really good game. Now if there was any reason to dust off your Vita, any reason at all, to dust it off and pull it off the case because I know most people have dust on their feet. I mean, look at mine. You can probably see the dust all in that thing. This would be the perfect title to wipe the dust off your Vita. Another thing too was the multiplayer. The multiplayer, I can and I can only speak on my experiences, the multiplayer was actually really good in my opinion. Um, you could just jump into somebody else's game and help them do missions. And if they have a party with them, you can join their party. So it could be you, that player, and then it's the, uh, the, the AI character. But it was cool to be able to jump into somebody's game and just help them out and do missions with them. Overall, I would say the game as a complete Vita package is a great game. It's a great title to dust you off, dust your Vita off. I mean, it, it's, the, the story missions alone is about 50 hours of gameplay. 50 hours of gameplay. So, with the overall title, I want to say it's about 100 hours of gameplay. I mean, I haven't even beat the story yet, and I think I'm about 30 hours in. So, I would definitely say give it a try, especially if you want a game that's going to last for a long time. For somebody who loves portables and has a Vita and just feels like their Vita is worth nothing right now because it's just sitting around, it's a great title to get in and play. And if you're on public transportation or... You know, if you take a cab to work, if you take a bus to work, if you take a train to work, or if you wait around in the doctor's office, or if you just have that flexibility to be able to, or that option to be able to play video games at work, this is a perfect title. I had a blast playing the game. It was a fun game, sick game, and you can really see the development in it. I mean, you create your character, you name your character, you pick a stance, you pick a weapon, and then go out into the world and then the tutorial is really fast. The tutorial is actually the beginning of the game which is sick when you fight that big ogre monster thing. But the game is sick. I recommend everybody should buy it. Alright? That was my review. Make sure you check out PutThatBack.org. My name is Deyasha Thirst. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that favorite button and the thumbs up buttons because if you don't, I will find you.
Yeah, <laughs> 